the comment section in the subreddit thread <laughs> don't uh, look too favorable waiting for Derek to butt f this that's absolute dog sh even worse than Tyler one's pre-workout pretty sure my dog could formulate a product better than these What's up guys, Derek, MarkPlates48s.com. Today we're going to be looking at another pre-workout supplement fact panel. This was posted on the MarkPlates48 subreddit review of Jersey Shore's Mike the Situation Stim-Free Pre-Workout and Normal Pre-Workout Ingredient Profile. So, website is brotrition.com and the comment section in the subreddit thread <laughs> don't uh, look too favorable waiting for Derek to butt fuck this. That's absolute dog shit, even worse than Tyler 1's pre-workout. Pretty sure my dog could formulate a product better than these. Absolute trash, who does these formulations? I just don't get it. Only 80 milligrams of beta alanine, fuck sakes. I'm not a fan of the ingredient myself, but that's just a waste. Holy shit, I've never seen anything worse. G Fuel is probably fucking better. By the way, G Fuel review coming to you soon. Fucking no, this is exactly what I would expect from a, a pre-workout from the situation to look like. Your ass is gonna itch a bit, that's it, everything is so underdosed you might as well not take it okay so this is cut off we're gonna go to the website so here we are on brotrition.com so let's see i always love these uh things on the bottom left corner that are just like popping up saying somebody just bought something from i like i don't even know if it's legit it's like you know fucking randy from uh louisiana just bought someone from johnston rhode island just bought purchased protein chocolate isolate it's like i don't I'm surprised they would want to like lean into this kind of marketing given that the situation is like so much more older and I would think like mature hopefully you know he's uh what like almost like 40 something at this point he's making a company called like Brotrition as if they're still like at the Jersey Shore making like fucking you know bro out videos and shit the comeback is always greater than the setback situation bro team all right let's see what it says here protein collection <laughs> and it just has them like flexing on the front um protein fun fetties like it almost looks like a meme product you know like, it doesn't even look like a fucking serious thing protein chocolate isolate protein vanilla isolate it's like i don't know why but i like for some reason i just like feel bad seeing like this guy like posting his pre like he's like you know spent his money on it and he's like you know trying to give his appreciation to the situation for like, you know, like, thanks for the sick pre, like, here it is, like, representing the brand. And it's like, you know this thing sucks. <laughs> like, I feel fucking bad, dude. All right, let's go into the shop all. So what do we have? We have the protein products. We have pre-workout. So let's go to this one, $40 here. Um, let's see, BCAAs. Okay, so off the bat, like whoever's formulating you know off the bat is more into marketing than actual science when they put out a bca product like why not just put out essential amino acids eaas instead you have somebody who is leaning into the marketing angle they think the buzzword bcaa so then they fucking sell it when it's like i don't know like i guess the mainstream gen pop doesn't know that eaas are superior and using bcaas has been essentially proved to be a waste when you could get a superior EAA product, but you know, it's still, it's still sold. So I'm assuming that they just assume people don't know, or the formulator themselves just doesn't, doesn't fucking know. Um, wow. They have a lot of different shit. Bro Minos. How's that going to differ from the fucking BCAA? Um, is this going to be an essential amino acid product? That's somehow different. And it has, uh, like for five bucks more, we're getting the full spectrum versus the BCAA blend situation abs. Holy shit. How much are we going to dissect here? He's got a lot of stuff. Ultra test. Fuck. Explode. What's that? Is that like a, <laughs> a loads deck coming soon? Um, let's see. So pre-workout, we have that pre-workout. Um, just trying to see, like, I'm trying to fucking even maneuver this guy's website here. So which one is the stim free one? Unless I just fucking missed it. So the threesome gets situated pulling a robbery <laughs> like if you watch the show back in the day you'll know that this is like he said this shit and it was like classic phrases like 12 years ago or something but it's like weird to see it now 
the grenade fuck is it does that mean that's bad um let's see okay so the pre-workout grenade pre-workout grenade pre-workout grenade pre-workout grenade pre-workout so presumably this is the only one even though it made it sound like in the uh let's see in the reddit thread it said stem free pre-workout and normal pre-workout so i don't know i guess let's uh see what's in here so this is the how do i even see the fucking supplement facts bro um ingredient supplement facts Wow, okay, so we have um, some interesting things here. This is not as uh, this is not as bad as they made it sound. So 30 scoops, performance complex, beta alanine, 3000 milligrams. So the efficacious dose would be 3200. But again, the efficacious dose to what? Are you gonna use this on a daily basis and build up to a saturation of 179 grams? No, you're not. Like this is a caffeine filled product with a, a lot of caffeine with octopamine, which I thought was a FDA frowned upon ingredient, which is a bit risky to have in here, but um, you know, it's in there. So like, this is not something you would have every fucking day because you would end up with tolerance issues as well as just fucking up your, <laughs> your dopamine receptors. This is not something you want to be using on a daily basis just to hit your saturation of beta alanine. So this would be a product that you use a few times a week ideally at most and then are you going to build up the efficacious dose that you need no you're not so n-acetyl l-tyrosine the shitty non-bioavailable form of tyrosine this you know is purported to be more water soluble which it is but doesn't necessarily mean it actually equates to more actual free l-tyrosine in the body after ingestion in fact it does not and it's been disproven that this is a superior alternative and it's essentially fucking trash to the point where even if you iv it into yourself your levels of tyrosine tyrosine in the body will hardly elevate which is baffling you basically just urinate this shit out caffeine complex caffeine mixed with dicaffeine malate you know it's a reasonable combination at a good dose 350 milligrams this should satisfy uh, most, you know, stimulant connoisseurs, except for the hardcore guys, octopamine will in fact probably, you know, get some of the uh, stim fiends kind of excited. Although I do think there are alternatives that are, you know, essentially compliant that are more potent, to be honest, that actually aren't going to be uh, frowned upon inside of a pre-workout and have a more pre predictable pharmacokinetic profile and um, just more tolerable from a side effect aspect as well because they're more tried and true have been in you know thousands of fucking people's pre-workouts at this point versus this is a bit of a one-off kind of uh, you know an ingredient that used to be found more often in pre's but has now been essentially abandoned citadine 5-diphosphocholine at 25 milligrams you know this dose does not excite me whatsoever Personally, when it comes to choline donors and something that's going to improve, improve acute performance in the gym as well as be useful in a cognitive aspect, like I clearly have a bias towards alpha GPC because in fact, clinically, it's shown to be the most superior option in all facets. And in addition to that, um, even highly um, credible sources in the you know longevity, performance, anti-aging space, you know, like Rhonda Patrick, will speak out time and time again about how, how they found anecdotally even that um, alpha GPC was superior to alternatives like CDB choline and whatnot. Um, Huperazine at 50 micrograms, I'd rather see at least 200 personally. Vasodilation complex citrulline malate, so two to one ratio of citrulline to malic acid. So we're looking at 2000 milligrams of citrulline and one thousand milligrams of malic acid so the minimum efficacious dose for citrulline malate two to one would be six thousand milligrams not uh has got about half of that so not uh good enough arginine akg not my favorite um nitric oxide precursor personally um and this dosage you know like anything when when it comes to kind of like uh novel ways to administer arginine personally i like inositol stabilized arginine silicate and that's what you'll find um, as nitrosagene, um, the trademark nitrosagene in uh, nitric. Um, and I would prefer that over arginine AKG if you were going to be trying to cons conserve space, you know, in capsules, that might be something to look at as opposed to, you know, l citrulline that needs to be bombed at like fucking six to 10 grams um, to get an actual good effect out of it. But if you're in a powder, like why not hit all vectors, you know, have uh, nitrates have fucking nitrosagene have uh you know citrulline have uh 
um, hyperhydration through, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to do. If you're trying to hit another vector entirely, trying to use uh, lacto tripeptides, vasodrive AP. That's what I look for personally when I'm uh, looking at a pre is how many different vectors are they addressing? Pump, hyperhydration, um, acute performance through stimulation or, you know, nootropics. Um, and through each of those vectors, like how maxed out are they? So for this, not only is he missing a lot of potential routes to kind of go down, but in addition to that, the routes he's chosen are half-assed as fuck. Even the beet extract, if we're looking at the nitrate pathway, you only have 100 milligrams of beet extract. So beetroot, obviously very popular, you know, it has a good reputation. It's a good uh, marketing kind of uh, tag word, I guess. And it's got a lot of, lot of attention over the years, and it's because it's a densely concentrated source of nitrates. However, even though it's densely concentrated, it's only one to 2% nitrates per, per gram of raw material. So like when he has 100 milligrams of beet extract, like how much are you actually getting out of that? Like one to two milligrams of actual nitrates out of that that are going to be put towards um, nitric oxide production. So is that going to be efficacious in any capacity? Like is it going to be useful whatsoever? No, it's not. Like frankly, even some of like the, uh, something like the Power Beats product on like Amazon, that's like a very, very popular, you know, uh, you know, cost effective way to go about getting your nitrates in. And you'll find that it has like, I think it's like 4,300 milligrams of um, beetroot juice powder per serving, but it's like to actually get, like you're only getting 43 milligrams of actual nitrates out of that, where you would need to chug like the entire fucking jug just to get the same amount of nitrates that you would get out of, you know, like a uh, single serving dose of, you know, sodium nitrate, for example. And this is why a lot of uh, more progressive pre-workouts and people who actually know what they're doing when they formulate, they will have like nitrate bound ingredients in their products in order to have a method of, well, you could get a bit of the actual ingredient that is compounded with on top of that, like a, you know, a betaine or a fucking creatine or a, um, a sodium or a potassium or whatever it is. But in addition to that, it's a way to deliver an efficacious dose of nitrates without having to smash fucking thousands of milligrams of beetroot powder, which is not, you know, a very good source personally in my opinion like i would i don't know why it gets so much hype especially at this dose it's fucking pitiful it's not actually doing anything that's going to help pump in any capacity it's just there to for the sake of being there sprinkled in and uh, like frankly even the efficacious dose of beetroot powder extract it's like it's like way higher than what you're getting per serving in these amazon products anyway so i don't think anyone's really getting a good like beetroot product out Regardless, like I don't think it should even be used as an NO precursor whatsoever in a vasodilation matrix. To me, it's just like an inferior way to administer nitrates. Not being, you know, spacious minded whatsoever. And when I say spacious, I mean like consuming space in your product. Like the amount of powder, again, like I said, to get a yield enough nitrates from the beetroot extract to actually get the effect you're trying to get would be so much easier accomplished with a much lower dose of a mineral bound with um you know nitrate or something and then ornithine here at 500 milligrams um i believe this ends up converting into citrulline in the body anyways so like i don't know why you would not just put in an efficacious dose of citrulline and remove this you know like what's the point you know like this is uh not a good formula certainly better than what was implied in the reddit thread though so i'm just wondering um, what, maybe it was one of these other products. Like what is the Brominos? Let's see this. I'm not going to break down many of the other products as elaborately because this product, will, this review will go way too long, but let's see. Okay. So basically just a amino blend plus like stimulants at <laughs> a subpar amount again. Like when you have a 5,000 milligram blend and then you think about the dose of just leucine you would want to get to stimulate mTOR, it's like, it becomes pretty clear that shit is not included in adequate dosages for you to actually get what you want out of this thing. And who the fuck wants to be like forced to slam this like post-workout, you know, like separate it. Um, let's see, situation abs, what is this, a fat burner? Uh, ba -ba -ba, supplement facts, caffeine, PEA, glucominan l-tyrosine so it's like see it's so weird to me how like some the same company will pull it, put out a formula that has tyrosine and n-acetyl l-tyrosine separately it's like 
well, like, what is your justification for including one form in the other product and then one form in this product? Like, did you just fuck the other one up and then this one you realize is a mistake? Or like, what, you know, is there some claim benefit you're getting in this one that you're not in the other one? Like, I don't get it. Um, thermogenesis blend, raspberry ketones, Johanbein bark, um, green tea extract, co cola nut, L-carnitine, <laughs> L-carnitine base with seven milligrams in the prop blend. Like, do I need to say more? Fuck off. Um, situation explode. Um, okay, so is this the product that we were talking about? As far as the stimulant free pre. Never give, <laughs> never give up on something you want, bros. It's difficult to wait, but even more difficult to regret. You can tell he just fucking paid somebody to make this for him. Or they want to work with him and get commissions off of his name or make like a living off of his name being like part partners and he doesn't have to do shit. He just has to be like the face of the company and invest a bit of capital or something. And then some other guy who makes, thinks he knows how to market, writes all this shit out, <laughs> writes all this shit out the way it's written. Um, okay, this is it, I think. This is the, uh, the stimulant free version. So this is a, okay, so again, you have to consider when you have a stimulant and caffeine free pre-workout for enhancing pumps and recovery and endurance, you only have so much room in a capsule. Like if you have a double O size capsule, you have 750 milligrams of space to fill. And how many capsules can you fit in a bottle? Like how much can you actually put in a serving before it's just too cumbersome for it to be worthwhile and for you to kind of like, you know, graduate up to a powdered product? Well, that's where you have to, uh, you know, really consider how to be you know, very conservative with your space in a product like this. Like it'd be very difficult to create an effective pump formula given that you only have capsule space. So, you know, this is why nitric is a fucking 35 gram double scoop product. You know, like it's not, you, you can't put it in a fucking capsule. But if I was to try to and put in like a max dose of at least the things that could be fit in a capsule, um, you would still end up at like a, you know, like a six plus capsule dose. So when you see two capsules off the bat, you already know, he has 1,500 milligrams of room in here, essentially. What could you possibly put in there? Okay, so calcium, calcium carbonate, 30 milligrams. Niacin at 30 milligrams. L-arginine base, you know, not useful. L-arginine AKG. Um, L-citrulline HCL, L-citrulline beta alanine. So these are just here for the sake of being here. You know, like they said in the thread, pitiful dosages has no actual pharmacologic effect that's going to be useful in any capacity. Not efficacious whatsoever. Uh, like if I, was, if I had 1500 milligrams of room, like what would I put in here? I'd probably just put in uh, nitrosogene. I almost fucking stumbled on my goddamn sentence and imploded myself. Um, nitrosogene, inositol stabilized arginine silicate is um, efficacious at 1500 milligrams. And in some studies seems to yield similar performance enhancing effects to a six gram citrulline malate dose, which is you know pretty impressive given how much space you can save with nitrosogene. So if I was going to make a pump product where I only had two capsules of fucking space, it would literally be 1500 milligrams nitrosogene. That would be fucking it. It wouldn't be a good product necessarily, but it'd be good enough to actually be like worthwhile to sell at probably a bit of a lower price point, but it would not be just like pitifully unuseful amounts of products layered on top of each other to look comprehensive with nothing actually exerting the effects we want versus one product, one ingredient at a dose that actually works. So again, yeah, this is pretty accurate as far as the thread goes and dismantling it. And that is my deep dive into the, uh, the situation stuff. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. All the comments help the algorithm. Much appreciated. Like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplacemoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram at moreplacemoredates. Facebook, Snapchat, BitChute, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below my TRT clinic. All telemedicine from the comfort of your own home, Gorilla Mind, nootropic formulas, Gorilla Mode, pre-workout formulas, and design myself from scratch. Anything else I'm associated with, recommended lab tests and diagnostics, stay on top of your health, um, recommended diet model for uh, hitting your micronutrient intake, as well as being mindful of sleep hygiene, gut health, sports performance rather than just, you know, pure, how do I gain muscle? That is all in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.